show is like the dramatic part of the comedy, how it yeah. all like, you were just terrific. Thank you so much. Um, we have a field day with each other, and, and uh, I think that we recognize pretty quickly that we have an innate chemistry that we can't really create in the next day, so we got lucky in that respect. Yeah. We work at it too. Like we do. We work yeah. really, really hard. We work on asses off. Yeah. Good yeah. shows. We yeah. hang out a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I'm talking about that we were able to, to take characters that were really like sitting on the sidelines for most of this season and, and, and uh, build them into to, um, real powerhouses on the show. I think yeah. that they're characters that, that deserve that due to their um, complexity. Uh, thanks for that, Justin. So. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> the thing was a farm. And, 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 I love that. The farm. So, Summer, you posted on your Instagram, like, one eye, done makeeup, and yeah. the other one. Yeah. So, Mark, yeah. only got one eye. What's up? Filming wise, like, are you hoping to maybe get to ride back? You know, I didn't realize what a gift it was going to be until I saw it. And I was like, this is really great. I think it's really funny. And, you know, it, it's a challenge because you can't rely, you're not relying on both eyes. So you have to figure out new ways of expressing yourself and you're not really sure what works yet. So it's, it's, it's going to be a experiment. We'll see how it turns out. I hope well. So, you know, it's not like I'm, oh my God, I need my eye back. But I, I'm kind of just enjoying this new challenge, you know. I'm sure at one point magic will be restored. I'll have like a cool looking glass eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> What's in store for you guys? Yeah, we don't really know. Yeah, we we run the first couple episodes, which is what we're shooting right now. Um, we're dealing with the the uh, invasion of the fairies right now in the castle, so we're being ruled and trying to rule our kingdom, and so there's sort of this hierarchical ladder happening, which is really fun to play with. Um, so we were just we were talking the other day about um, having to really establish that as yeah. a power dynamic that, that was not really fully explored in, in season two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, we're under fairy occupation, so um, <laughs> we, we've only gone as far as two episodes right now, and we haven't even wrapped them yet. Um, it, I think it's been really fun getting to play with Candace King. Um, that's something I'm really excited about, and I think it's going to to be a really exciting element to the show. Will there be any more musical numbers in your future, and what songs do you want to do on the show? I'm sure there will be, because John McNamara. John McNamara loves music and musical yeah. and singing, and so any opportunity he can get, um, he's going to take. There's a lot of great singers in our cast, too. So, not me. I doubt I'll be in a musical number again. I think I'm going to sit that one as much as I'd like to. Uh, I, I could see Elliot doing like a like an old an old standard or maybe like a, a, a really classic like David Bowie song, like a Lou Reed number or something. You know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It'll be great. I'll be in the background making dance moves. <laughs> Not singing. <laughs> they recently set check. There, yes, there will be um, this season. Elliot commissions the love jack, which is the book in the second book, the big kind of questing book that uh, brings the heroes to different parts of Hillary that they would otherwise be able to access. And uh, the big kind of thrust is the quest of the love jack, and it's Elliot's sort of quest to find out his own identity outside of magic, which is a huge question. We'll see. we'll see what happens. I know that we'll both be on the boat, but we'll be on the boat. Um, ben, um, yeah, you'll see. I don't know. We, have, we haven't really read more than the first couple of episodes. Yeah, we don't really know what's going on. I just know it's for Aaron. No, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot meets a questing beast in the first episode who he's going to interact with. I'm not going to spoil it, but he is magnificent. And probably colorful. Majestic. Majestic, you could say. Yeah. Um, Fairies. Fairies. I guess that's 
brand new. He's in season two, but there'll oh, be more of them. Elliot has crew crew members on the ship that you're meeting. Yes. He's bringing a master swordsman and an admiral. And of course, we have the sloth back. She's back at it. She's back at it. <laughs> I love her, Sassy. Her name is Sassy. Her actual name is Sassy. Oh, great. Her, her character name is Abigail. Yeah. She doesn't get out of bed for less than 10,000 carats a day. <laughs> she is, uh, she's a diva and she deserves it. Uh, Elliot has one of the most interesting like, sexualities in television right now. How does it feel to be portraying someone who kind of has this ability to go from gender to gender and, you know, I mean, yeah. yeah. I think it's about right. I think it's yeah. about time. I think it's uh, a reflection of human nature. I think that for Elliot, he wouldn't have necessarily chosen Ben as a sexual partner, as a wife or anything. And I certainly don't think that they're soulmates or that that, that is a bond that he would have chosen for himself. Um, but I think that it's important that queer characters are represented on television in uh, as many aspects as is as exists. Um, I think that it's a, it's a highly, you know, underrated, uh, under underrepresented uh, population. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers, room for humor. There's room.